I'm on the upper flat roof now. Let me give you an overview of what just uh, was done. We, we were down behind this chimney, getting some information down there. Then we went back into the uh, book closet area, which was, uh, let's see, I guess it was back in there. Yeah, back in that area. And walked right around to get the general conditions and back up this way to the, uh, to the flat roof. You look closely at this chimney, you can see uh, it's had some work done on the cap as well. Some more roof cement in caulk form up there around the uh, terracotta. And uh, just give you a perspective of the size of that chimney and how that's exposed to the weather and how over 70 years that can turn into a sponge, absorb water, and then gravity pulls it down until it soaks out into an area that's dry, you know, such as the uh, headmaster's office. And walking around up here, this is your flat roof. This is the skylight. Again, we see poured uh, asphalt coming right over the edge here, all over this beautiful slate roof. And this roof up here, this is some kind of a, a scrim roof with a coating, like a, you know, this is not a membrane, this is a, this is a quick fix. This white roof I'm talking about. You can see some work was done up here in the chimney cap. And that was done with, with uh, mortar, it looks somewhat professional allowed the damper to get put in here and uh, you know this is this precast or limestone cap is also porous if I pour a cup of water on here it's gonna disappear right into it so masonry is porous and over time it becomes very porous you know, when it's first built, it's designed to dry out before it becomes a problem, but as it gets older, cracks like these develop. You can see the crack coming right down the chimney, and that's a pretty defined crack. The cap side's got that similar crack. You get problems around the top here, as you can see. So yeah, these, these old buildings are just notorious for uh, expensive deterioration, let's call it that. And we got more asphalt in the valleys here. And uh, I'm gonna head down and take a look now at that uh, problem we have in the sunroom or floor and then it's the second floor uh, porch as well. Try to understand how all that water's getting in there. <laughs> 